Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Prediction. Yes, last week I didn't miss a week of uploads, please let me explain. Unfortunately, I became unwell um, roughly around about this time last week, which is a Monday, just in case you're wondering. And it did take me out for a week. I was that bad that I was bed rested. Um, you know for nearly a week so that's why I missed uh, last week's upload um, but I did try my best to keep up down the football but my predictions are back um, so guys anyway this video is sponsored by LOL T-shirt company I sell my match link for more match down in the description below so go feel free to check it out after watching this video um, but anyway lots to talk about a lot of controversy that I can remember um, so guys anyway you know what I'd do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Cardiff versus Nottingham Forest. Um, Nottingham Forest drawn 0-0 at home to QPR. Um, to talk about when Notts Forest was out, a desperate three points there, I believe, for Notts Forest had gone. Um, there were three points that I thought they were going to pick up, but unfortunately did it so. Um, but... Yeah, as I said, I think that's a big three points that Nice Forest didn't pick up. Cardiff, on the other hand, lose a 2 0 away to Stoke. Um, great three points for Stoke. Big disappointment day for Cardiff City. Um, go over their form table. Nice Forest coming in fifth. Uh, Leeds managed to get that gap bigger for, uh, over their win. I can't remember who they beat, but we'll get down to that in just a minute. Um, you know, 56 points, 5 points out of their last 5 games, not good enough as far as I'm concerned on the promotion chase. Um, Cardiff, 50 points, picking up 8 points from their last 5 games. Yet, yeah, from the relegation Premier League club, still don't think that's good enough. Um, do I think that may be it for uh, Nottingham Forest? I mean, I look at the league table here. It's still tight, but now not as far as they need the favours from Leeds. And there's not too many games to go either in this championship season. Just that literally about 13 remaining. 13, 12, something like that remaining. Um, I think it might be 12. Um, but with this game, I don't know quite how to call it if I'm all honest. Um, I want to go... I'm going to go this way because I can only see it going this way. And I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Huddersfield versus Bristol City. Um, Huddersfield is a 3 1 away from home to Swansea. Um, Bristol City loses a 3 0 at home to West Bromwich Albion. Um, Bristol City, they're another team. Are we going to make the playoffs? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Um, if you think that Bristol City will make the playoffs, or if you don't, or if you don't, um, put your, you know, why won't they? Um, if they do, why will they? And You know, let's get this conversation going. It's coming so close towards the playoffs now. And um, my team being at the championship, hopefully for next season as well, um, it makes it more exciting for me. Just to watch and, you know, seeing this BAFTA go on between 3rd to 6th, it, it makes it really exciting um, if you don't support a team in this division, or any division really, um, like League 1 and 2. Um, obviously there's no prim uh, playoffs in the Premier League. Um, Huddersfield, down near the bottom, 21st. 36 points, just 2 points. Outside the relegation zone, are Huddersfield going to go down? Um, you know, yeah, again, put your comments down below. Will they want they if they do? Why do you think they go down? If not, why won't they go down? It is just this tight at this at this time of year for every year in the championship season. Huddersfield have currently got four points at their last five games as well. Um, Bristol City 6 points out I'm going to go for a bit of an upset on this one and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Huddersfield win my next one is Luton versus Brentford 
Um, Luton, losing 3 1 away from home to Charlton Athletic. Luton had, I think they were 1 0 up in that game as well. Brentford, another team that let the uh, automatic promotion pl uh, place there by drawing it at home to Blackburn. Um, Brentford have got a new ground coming, hopefully, next season. I've seen on Sky. I'm hoping I might even get to visit. Um, but as again, as it all goes, it all goes where Brentford end up, and it all ends up where my team ends up as well. If you don't know who I support, please feel free to put it down in the comments below also. Um, but this uh, this game I think is going to be slightly interesting. Brent Brentford um, have not lost in five. No, in fact, picked up nine points from their last five games. Um, you know, winning winning two, drawing three. Um, Luton Town, six points off safety, six points out of their last five games. I'm going to go for a Brentford win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brentford win. My next one is QPR versus Derby. Derby drawing 1-1 one, one at home to Fulham. Um, Yet yeah, again, I will talk about Fulham in just a little while. Um, let's get over to QPR. QPR drawing 0-0 away to Nottingham Forest. Great point for QPR. Great point for Derby. Derby currently sitting in 13th place. You know, picking up um, 8 points from their last 5 games. Um... 11 points off the drop. I think they're safe. What do you think? Um, QPR on the other hand, 15th. Um, 5 points from their last 5 games. 43 points. Just 9 points off the drop. This, this year is actually so exciting for people. Not just for not ordinary football fans like you and me. It is just so exciting to watch the climax of all the pre the Premier League champions at League 1 and 2 and see who makes that play off, see who gets relegated from the Premier League to the Championship and you know this is the real exciting time for all football fans, well especially for me anyway, please feel free to you put how um, much you feel down in the comments below. Um, but I think this game's got to be a draw, actually I'll say it could be a table change game for QPR win but I can't see it winning. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Preston North End. Um, Preston North End, you know, Preston North End beat Hull City 2-1 at home. No biggie rep, but that West Brom result um, beating Bristol City 3-0 away from home. This is such an exciting time of the season. Um, and I've said it more than once, but this where I actually, you know, sit down in front of the box or, you know, and watch as much of the footy as possible. Um, but Preston currently sitting in the playoff places by two, uh, no, by three points, sorry. Um, you know, picking up um, ten points from their last five games. This time of year. What makes it so buzzing? Um, West Brom currently sit at the top of the league. Um, nine points clear. Uh, 13 points from their last five games. This, I think this stage of the season especially, can make or break your team's season. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'll go for a West Brom win and I'll go for a 3-1 West Brom win. My next one is Blackburn versus Stoke. Um, Blackburn drawing 2-2 away to Brentford. Um, Stoke City beating the Cardiff 2-0 at home. Big three points for Stoke. Um, Stoke currently three, yeah, three points off the drop. Um, Blackburn, I used to say, I remember not so long ago, Blackburn talked about being in the bottom. They're now in that playoff fight to get in that playoff spot. Um, there's just six points between Preston, who's in sixth, and Cardiff down in tenth. So, even Cardiff start coming to the mix. 
you can count Millwall probably in that mix as well. It's just so tight and so exciting. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Blackburn win. My next one is Fulham versus Swansea. Yeah, again, Fulham's another team that made the, play, uh, the automatic promotion places slip. Drawing 1-1 one, one away to Derby. Um, but we can still do it. They are just currently five points off of Leeds. Yet again, they favour of Leeds and they need to do their job to actually capitalise. Um, but this game, I feel it. This end of the season, it's got to be so exciting. Um, going up against a, you know, an OK Swansea side. Um, Swansea currently sitting at 9, 51 points. Swansea picking up... Six points from their last five games. Fulham picking up eight points from their last five games. You know, it's just so exciting. But I'm going to predict a Fulham win. And I'm going to predict a free. Actually, no, I'm not going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a free all scoreline for that one. My next one is Hull City versus Barnsley. Um... Barnsley, see Barnsley, I mean, Barnsley can even just scrape outside. They're just five points off of uh, Huddersfield. Um, but Barnsley beat Middlesbrough one now. How big would the, them three points be come the end of the season? Um, Hull City. Uh, see, Hull City losing 2-1 away from home to um, Preston. Not a real big deal, but will that cost them come May? Um, Hull City only picking up two points from their last five games. Barnsley um, only picking up seven points from their last five games. I reckon Barnsley will go win this one and I'll go for a 2-1 Barnsley win. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Leagues. Um, Middlesbrough losing 1-0 away from home to uh, Barnsley. Leagues beating Reading 1 0. That game was so tight as well. I put Reading just scrape, just winning by the scrape of their neck 1 0. Um, but you know, Leagues got the three points. Middles, see, I remember Middles for being in the Premier League. It, it, it's really strange how times change. But I expect Leagues to actually, no, I'm not going to change my mind. And I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. But expect a middle squad to go get a point. Don't ask me why. Um, well, you can ask me why, but I still won't know the answer. <laughs> um, my next one is a Millwall versus Birmingham. Um, Birmingham, drawn with Sheffield, win Sheffield wins that home. 3-3. Three, three. So Birmingham went 2 0 up in that game as well. It is just so exciting. Uh, Millwall. Losing 1-0 away to Wigan Athletic. Big disappointment for Millwall. Um, Millwall currently sitting at 11th. So you can't even take them out of the relegation. And uh, not relegation, playoff spots. Um, seven points to drift. Millwall have got to get a bit, bit, bit better in their form though. Got there in the end. Um, only pick up five points from the last five games. Birmingham. You know, ain't lost in their last five. Picking up a maximum... Of eight points in the last five games. It is just so grip. I mean, you've only got Burnham down in full teams. That's only nine point. No, not eleven points off the power places. It's just so exciting this time of year. Um, but I'm going to go for a, another draw, and I'm going to go for the two-two scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Charlton Athletic. Uh, Charlton Athletic beating Luton 3 1 at home. How big are them three points for Charlton going to be? Um, Sheffield Wednesday drawing that home away, sorry, away to Birmingham 3 3. How big are them three points going to be for Charlton? We're all going to have to wait and see to the end of the season. Um, let's go over to the form table. Sheffield Wednesday only pick up three points in their last five games. Charlton. You know, I only pick up nine points from their last five games. On the um, confidence perspective, Chowton will have more confidence. I'm going to go for a Chowton win 
and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Cheltenham win. My last one for this weekend is Reading versus Wigan. Um, Reading beat a Millwall 1-0 at home. Big three points for Wigan. Where's that alley Wigan come the end of the season? There are quite a few teams that I'd like to see survive, but only, only certain teams can survive. Um, Reading, you know, losing one out at home to Leeds. But that uh, game was so nitty and gritty that probably Reading could have maybe got a point out of that game. Um, Reading, on the form table, five points from their last five games. Wigan, you know, I mean, Wigan have done eight points from their last five games. Eight points from their last five. This baffles me, it really does. Um, but I think Wigan might just edge this one, and I'll go for a 2-1 Wigan win. But anyway, guys, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers, man.